Welcome back, audience. This is the first episode of Witchy Vlogs. A witch's life on the daily and on the fly. An intimate view just for you. Alright guys, I am going to share this little corner of my home with you because this is a space I spend quite a lot of time in. Especially first thing in the morning. Let's say hello to Bella. So over here, I'm going to start at the top. We have a charm up in the window, guarding against the evil eye, the moon and the sun up there. A little quartz crystal here for protection. This is a curio cabinet with uh, various items on it that I've collected most, most of them in the desert. Um, cottonwood leaf, they're down by the river. I have a lot of those. The quartz crystal, I did buy that. But pretty much everything on here is found. This happens to be one of my favorite pieces. Um, I'm probably going to turn him into an earring or something. It's actually quite clear and it had beautiful red in there. I'm pretty sure it's probably like a fire agate. Here, a piece of milky quartz, found stone. I just think he's cool because it's like a perfect little pyramid. Uh, a piece of jasper. Brittle bush, dried flower, stone. These little puff balls are actually the seeds for a creosote, the creosote bush. Here's a little weed that my daughter gave me. It was just a little flower weed and they kept it. He is nestled next to a, this is kind of a light brown. I want to say it's smoky quartz, but it's like a druzy form, man. It's got so much sparkle. So, you know, I don't know what she is, but she's gorgeous. Um, that's also a found piece. I found that in the desert. Here, um, I believe this is a little piece of selenite. This little guy. Um, my daughter actually found him. Uh, found stone there. Piece of wood that we found out in the desert that's just been marred by the weather to perfection. Redstone back there, I have no idea what it is, but it's beautiful. A couple of little stones I found out there as well. Um, this is Vitex, dried Vitex. It reminds me a lot, the flowers remind me a lot of lavender, as does the smell. It's just a little pepperier, if that makes sense. Found stone back there, giving you a little bit of sparkle. This guy is one of the bot stones that's on the shelf. He, um... He's a triple shot, pretty powerful little stone here. It's like malachite, azurite is the blue, I think, and then a, a cryosacola on there. So it's like three weaved into one stone. And a feather from my bird. Um, this stone, check that guy out. Come on camera, give us the focus that one with a beautiful line in the middle of it good luck stone right there over here I have I'm trying to open the window at the same time so we get more light here uh, owl up here spirit guide definitely for sure I think I got that like a Halloween or two ago um, this one flowers from San Diego that I dried and pressed the last time me and my daughter went down here as we come down here I have the altar set up pretty much um, this bottle I keep my water in for my oil burner I use Colorado River water and it's actually empty I need to refill over here I have my two oils of lavender and rose kind of alternating back and forth between those rose for self-love September kind of thing you could barely see my lighter I keep him kind of tucked back there Himalayan rock salt to purify the air, sage cleansing and doing its magic, uh, oil burner I got from the thrift shop, the tray I got from the thrift shop as well, I think I shared that in my, one of my last haul videos. And then this is what I like to call my crystal hot seat. These are the crystals that spend some time with me in the morning especially. Um, if they're here, usually when I'm sitting in my chair, I'll hold them and meditate with them or just keep them very close or on me in my hand on my leg you know just in my lap just 
I want them right there by me, <laughs> literally physically on me. And uh, blue kyanite for cleansing. So there's just some funky stuff going around the last couple of months here. So yeah, and then amethyst, stress relief, definitely. Hmm. Oh, coffee cup, you need to be right there, buddy. So down here, there's actually a little hidden drawer. Let me see if I can do this one-handed. I keep kind of like the supplies, my tea lights. Spare a bit of sage so I don't have to get up and go get it. Um, this deck is kind of my daily draw, guarded by a piece of quartz. Let's just take a moment and appreciate the cover of these cards. My goodness. Then, um, let's see. Come on, guys. I just want to bring out the book so that way you can see which one it is. Animal messages. That's this. So he is kind of like my daily pool deck for now. Um, when I pull the card, the card actually sits behind the oil burner so that it gets the glow from the other side of the candle. And she's being guarded by a chunk of rock this as well. So down a little further, we have books that I use for quick reference, and then um, there's a little storage box down there as well. So moving over here to the actual chair, the last thing I wanted to mention was I always tuck my stuff in the corner of the cushion here. So the book that I'm reading is literally right there at pool. So I. Sometimes it's really hard for me to read and um, as far as time constraints and I'm like I'm literally I'd say halfway through this book so yeah I keep it right there as like a reminder like hey read me lady read me so daily to-do list then I have my witchy to-do list and then I have my uh, this is so fancy you guys my book of mirrors I suppose you could call that so I will write down spell work in here once I do it and you know I feel that I want to keep it it goes to the book of shadows so that's like the preliminary book but yeah this is my spot so I figured I would share it with you and I'm wondering if you guys have a morning altar a place that you spend some time in first thing in the morning what does it look like do you want to share it do you want to show me let's see what you got Okay, so a quick little haul. Wanted to share some of this stuff I picked up at the 99 cents and more store because some of this is seasonal and it could be gone pretty soon. So first thing up, let's talk about these. It's an owl jar. Isn't that the cutest? And it has a silver lid already. Most of all the jars in my apothecary either have um, silver or black lids. So when I saw them, I was like, that is perfect. Originally, I got two of them, thinking that maybe I would give my daughter one, but now I'm kind of second guessing it. I don't think I might just keep them both for me. <laughs> we'll see. Got those guys. Then I grabbed some more cinnamon. They always have cinnamon in there. Try to get the package that has the most in it. So I get more bang from the buck. Um, 99 cents and then I came across this guy and I thought this was a good thing to show people especially new witches who are just starting out and they're trying to get to build up their apothecary and um, this guy is like four spices in one so you get your garlic granules you get chili powder which is good if you're gonna do like a hot foot powder and you get sea salt in here which is you know sea salt is like crucial to witching and then you get some black pepper and I'm like all of those for a dollar so I'm like that is a really good way to build up your apothecary things like this and I found this at 99 cent store <clears throat> the next thing I got was this cute little like candy dish I went ahead and took it out of the box it's just so super cute Three little eggs, like a little glass cauldron. That's what he kind of feels like to me. But I figured this would be really cute to do like some vanity magic, you know, like maybe for some self-love 
September stuff, that kind of thing. I think I might actually put this in my bathroom with some herbs and crystals in it. Maybe like a, a witchy bath mix in there too. That would be cool. So he was only, I think he was a dollar, a dollar and 99. And then moving on to some of the spooky stuff, the Halloween stuff is out right now. I grabbed this little package of skulls. Some of the things in the Halloween aisle this year, I feel like they needed to, they need to be painted, you know, like the paint job that they did is just so like crappy and I'm like I could take a paintbrush and detail that up a little bit more so I wanted to mention that in case people are looking at things there and they're like man you know what I could do I could make that 10 times better and I'm like this is just you know plastic skulls for a dollar a big old bag of them um which I'll probably use for more like household decorations more than anything. Then I found this cool little chalkboard. Look at that, it's so cute. So I'm gonna put, you know, like witchy words of the week, that kind of thing, or quotes, things like that. And it came with a little piece of chalk too, which I was like, oh goodness, that was a good idea there, guys. <laughs> but yeah, that was just a dollar. And I'm like, I figured I would show him, super cute. And then the last thing that I grabbed were a couple of these little journals. They were both $1.99. You get this beautiful, um, look how shiny this is. My goodness. I wonder if I, yep. So this one, every day I'm hustling. I just thought the color was just gorgeous. And I think what I'm going to use this one as is more my kind of like a bullet journal. I'm not going to go hardcore bullet journal, but I just want something to do, kind of like lay out my to-do list for the days. And then um, this one, $1.99, it's nice cover, nice button, open it up, open pages, super cute, ribbon marker, super cute, right? A dollar ninety nine, you guys. So I'm thinking this one might be my what I would like to call like the book of mirrors, or you know, it's usually where I write down a lot of my witchy notes. I write out spell work and stuff like that, and then when I do a spell, and you know, I have good results, then it gets transferred to my book of shadows. So this is like the preliminary book. <laughs> So oh, yeah, that's, I just wanted to share these few things with you guys in case you wanted to go grab them because, you know, like, especially these guys, I have a feeling are going to go super fast and they had like, um, different colors in this one as well. Super cute for $1.99, you guys. And then the Halloween stuff, you know, once it's gone, it's gone. <laughs> if you don't want to have to hunt this coyote down, you better subscribe to stay up to date. You can also find me on Instagram at Coyote to keep track of what I'm doing on the daily grind.